what is up guys welcome back to my channel today's video is kind of a fun one because we're actually going to shop my shoe death pile and it's ridiculous i probably have a couple thousand dollars worth of shoes and boots here it's actually really ridiculous and then I grabbed another tote that I had stored and I was supposed to list these this winter that I never did as well so we have two pretty big hauls of shoes that we're gonna go through and yeah I just hope you enjoy this little bit of um insight I guess into my mess of a death pile too I I want to give me a hands up give me a comment if you have a death pile and I want to know what is your estimate of either dollar value or number of items in it because right now as I contemplate all of this stuff that I'm sitting on I'm like wow thousands thousands of dollars so I my goal and my intention is to have all of this listed by the end of next week and I think I can do it I think I can do this this is a this is like a challenge to myself but let's just kick it off we're just going to start going through them there's no rhyme or reason uh, I do see a couple pairs of Burks which I'll grab first some sandals I see Okay, first sandals. I've been sitting on these forever and I just ordered like a um, clear plastic sandal holder. I don't even know what you call it. But anyways, these are a pair of Picolinas. You can't see it there, but that's what it looks like. They're a pretty good quality leather shoe. If they're asking like under $15 for them, I will almost always grab Picolinas. I love selling them and they tend to sell pretty quickly. Uh, this next pair is a pair of Burks. These are actually Emicas. Uh, they don't really fit her well anymore. So she had given them to me to sell and then she wants money from them to put towards a new pair of shoes, which I was totally fine with but I think I'm going to sell these locally just so that I don't have to pay platform fees and uh, put some quick cash in her hands to buy some different shoes I have a, another pair of Burks these are a men's 42 really good I've actually had these for a while and they're in pretty good condition they have a little bit of wear in the back but yeah I need to get these ones listed definitely that's those are gonna be like probably the first pair that I list ah oh, I can't believe I'm sitting on these um and then these pair of mem what is it memphisito memphisto I don't know how to say it um so I found these probably like a month ago when I was out th sourcing and thrifting and uh when I looked up the retail value of these, these are actually like equivalent to Burks, maybe even a little bit more. I was shocked. And this is what you're looking for. And then they're also stamped like Birkenstock. Next up, oh my gosh, these, I think I'm just not very excited about these ones, but they're a pair of Fly Londons. I should get these listed. Uh, I picked them up on clearance at a consignment store and I think I paid like three bucks for them so not bad I've yet oh my gosh this is so embarrassing because I was so pumped these have a very high sell-through rate these should sell for over a hundred dollars on eBay and I have not listed them so this is dolls how do I show you guys dolls kill that's what you're looking for they're usually very unique um shoes these are like Care Bear platforms oh my gosh they're so stinking cute my youngest like walked around in the house wearing these for an hour one day she thought they were just the the coolest shoes ever uh what else I'm not sure on the brand so the brand is Berkman I don't you can't see it anywhere else but on the bottom and it's a, it's a wood sole for sure and leather clog. I'd pick these up for myself. Uh, I just love the look of them and they were like kind of like a Burke dupe 
or similar to, to Burke's, but good quality. So yeah, I don't know very much about these. So I'm hoping to get like 40, 50 bucks for those. Um, oh, I got a couple pair of Doc Martens. So I'll do those after. These next ones are Timberland tan or like cream colored boots. They are like brand new, not a scuff, no wear on them. And size seven and a half, so good size too. I like those. Those should be doing good in later summer. Uh, okay, some of the Doc Martens I have. I have two pairs of Doc Martens that I need to list. First pair are these Mary Janes. So you can see Doc Martin also stamped here. I was hoping these would be my size, but they're just a little bit too big. They're probably about a 10 women's. No, they don't even have a size on them. Oh, it's so hard to read. <laughs> Let's see if the other one has it. No, but I would say these are, these are a size 10 women's. And then the other pair, I've had these for like eight months. I can't believe I've never listed them. They're the Floral Bloom Doc Martin boots. And these are also in a size women's 10. But yeah, very, very cute. I like those. Uh, I have a pair of hiking shoes. We got some North Face ones. These need to get listed because we are in hiking season and they're a size 8 US. Okay, and then we'll do... I got two more from this tote and then I can kind of go over the table. And these are Laredo. I think we had this discussion. I can't remember. Laredo, Lorado. And they're like purple leather western boots they kind of give me like a victorian look i like them i thought they would do okay just didn't want to list them apparently and then a pair of ugg slip-on heels these are cute actually are these my size no size eight darn it oh they're so comfy too Ooh, those are dangerous all right, let's move on to the table. I have these men's bed stew boots. Good condition. Um, I'm hoping I, to get like 150 for these, at least $100. I'm not sure. I never comp search the men's. I just grabbed these because they were a good deal. What did I pay? I don't even have a sticker anywhere on them. I don't think I would have paid $20 for them. And they're like brand new. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if these have ever been worn. That's crazy. I found these bad boys, Milwaukee leather moto boots. Oh my gosh, they're a women's size six. Like they're even little metal plates in here. I, the only signs of wear that I see are like on the toes and I'm just going to put some Wonder Balm on those and spruce them up. But yeah, those were a find and they're like insulated too. Very nice. Um, I have these up there, but I just grabbed these. These are those Clark's boots that I grabbed last week. I also have these Freebirds. I don't know the size of them. Let's see if they fit me. I think they're, yeah, they're probably like a 10 and a half, maybe 11, but good condition. Just needs a little bit of Wonder Balm again, a little cleaning. Got a pair of Blundstones. <laughs> Uh, and I paid up for these at a buy sell trade store I can't believe I paid up for them and then I was like meh not gonna list them that's crazy they are in a size oh it says five and a half but uh yeah maybe they are smaller but they're kind of a weird sizing too 
so I'll have to see and the bottom like next to new uh, oh these roots boots these are nice um, comps were looking like 150 to 250 on them I had to look a little bit closer but I think I could get at least 150 for these apparently they're like rare roots leather boots I have a pair of Kamek rubber boots. Tis the season. These need to get listed right away. Uh, I think I was hoping they would fit me, but they don't. They're a size nine, maybe, and I think I need nine and a half. And these hunter boots. And they even come with a little with a little sock. And these are like the really tall ones glossy navy blue color uh size eight what else oh these ones yeah i did these those are those as 98s that i just sourced black cowboy boots size six and a half and these are nakono boots that they have like the good the good sole on them these fry ones that i picked up last week those are nice i'm excited to list those really excited to list those and then let's go through the tote oh my gosh this is crazy all right first off we got some ugg boots very nice pretty good condition I think those will do good in fall. Um, I got some Sorrells. Love this style of Sorrell boot. These are like a nine, nine and a half. I think they're more of a nine because I did try them on. They're a little bit tight on me. Uh, these I'm going to pull out. These are AS98s and they have like this fringe, this leather fringe. Those need to stay out and get listed. Mm, I've got some North Face. I've had these for a year and a half in my death pile. <laughs> I paid like five bucks for them on sale. They just need to be like cleaned up and listed. But yeah, this pile of shoes is getting bigger and bigger. A pair of Miss Moo's red leather wedge heel boots and I don't see actually are these even Miss Moose? yeah they are these are an older style it's down in the in the inside but really good condition gorgeous boots another pair of North Face kind of hiking outdoor boots these are neat I don't see the this style very often good condition on the bottom uh, another pair of moto boots these are boulets oh my gosh I remember finding these I can't believe I didn't list these these are such good quality leather moto boots like super thick leather I don't know if you can see that oh wow that's crazy okay I'm listing this all I'm not even saving them for um for winter nice pair of Keens a little bit of fur on the inside rubber bottom these will be great for spring what are these Merles black booty Merles Oh, so many of these like I feel like I miss the winter season but people are going to start shopping for fall right away so I'll have to get these get these listed what are these oh blondo I like blondo boots I don't find them often like at all here's the bottom that's where it says the blondo yeah rarely find these and then the last pair are these beat up old looking 
Sorrels. <laughs> Pretty sure these are kids. Oh my gosh. I've had these for like two years. Yeah, US size four. I've had these forever. I just need to get them listed. Gosh, whatever, just to move them along. Holy smokes. Um, that was some damage. That's crazy. I also have a couple. That's like, yeah, there's a lot of shoes here. There's a lot of boots. There's easily a couple thousand dollars worth of shoes. Um, and I'm challenging myself to have these all listed by next Friday. So that's a substantial addition to my closet. Um, I also have some purses that I have to list and I'll quickly share these because some of these I've had for quite a while and I'm going to get them listed right away. So the next one is this tooled leather handmade purse has like this gorgeous snap inside off oh, such good condition that needs to get listed next I'm pretty sure this is old as heck but it comes with the duster bag Marc Jacobs so Marc Jacobs quilted purse comes with a long strap as well tucked inside that's nice actually see how that one does um what is this oh coach and it's like i kind of like the mechanism of it anyways nice little coach cream and leather purse this needs to get listed as well and then last off and this is like the end of my death pile this literally is the end of my death pile this is all i got is that um Liebes kind, Liebes kind leather purse that I had grabbed from uh, Value Village a couple of months ago. And yeah, I don't grab purses often just because I know I hate listing them. But yeah, I'm going to get this listed. Okay, I got to show you guys what it looks like in here. Hold on. It's what it looks like. That's the pile of stuff and all the shoes over there. Oh my gosh. This is so crazy. It's definitely something I have been procrastinating. And here's the thing. I don't find shoes are difficult. I do a setup downstairs in the kitchen on my kitchen table. And I have like um, a poster board that I'll set up and put it as my back. My kitchen table is white. It's like a mid-century modern type table. And I just like snap the photos there. They're pretty easy to list uh, for inventory. I just store them in totes numbered like one to six or whatever. And it's they're pretty easy to find and store. But yeah, a couple of them need a little bit of cleaning. Maybe I'll tackle some of them today and try and get like 20 pairs photographed. And then I can list these easily in the evening. But yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think of this? Is this like... A pretty good death pile haul. Um, do you have any of these types of brands sitting in your death piles? I want to know how many items you have and what you think the dollar value is of your current death pile. Um, this is it. I don't have a death pile of clothing. All the clothes I find I list. Like this is probably the extent of like death pile clothing for me. But they're mostly items that I had grabbed possibly for myself. I just need to tackle those. So I uh, my goal is, I think, for next week to kind of just have everything under control back to ground zero and then um, deciding which types of things I want to hold on to. But I think my new business, I used to like hold on to things for the season. My new business model, especially because I'm selling on eBay and I feel like there's no, I mean, there's seasons on eBay, but everything and anything sells at whatever time. I'm just starting to list things as I find them. If they're winter, I list them now. My automation will relist the item if it doesn't sell. If it's out of season, it doesn't sell. My automation will relist it when it's back into season. So yeah, I'm just going to start doing like list and move on, list and move on and work through everything that I'm sourcing and finding. Oh my gosh, I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of me just talking about this and setting the intentions to get all of this listed. I'm just, yeah, I'm speechless. Okay, so I am going to head out of here. I obviously have a lot of work to do <laughs> and need to start working on my listing, but 
I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is something different. I very rarely shared a glimpse into what I'm sitting on for death pile stuff. And I typically don't have a lot of death pile. Shoes are my death pile, if anything. Um, but yeah, it's fun to do something and share a little bit of insight into my world of reselling in my little office, but I hope you enjoyed it. If this helps you in your reselling business or you just, you know, found value or I kept you company, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Other than that, I will see you guys next time. I'm wishing you all many sales. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Bye.